Greetings, it is I, the great Glenmore, here playing Trombone Champ for the first time. I just downloaded this earlier today, so I've never actually played the game. Hola, hello and bonjour. Don't like the French, but sure. I in another language. <laughs> Works. Hello to you, Derpo. How is thine day going?
It's me. I also don't like French. Nobody really does. I'm not even sure French people really like French that much. Day is going good. That is good to hear. My day is going all right. No BS. Put up some audio issues today, but got it sorted out. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, that's loud. <laughs> At least on my end. Oh, they're speaking in this game. Ages after the twin vessels were forged, a new soul appears. Brave soul. I thought this was a music One game about trombones. One stand before two baboons. One day you will rend the very fabric that binds this land. But until that day comes, you must toot. <laughs> this game has lore. Toot your trouble, Apparently. brave soul. And you <laughs> yet become the this game champ. Has a lot more how do I say budget than I originally thought. Um Alright. <laughs> Trombone champ. We'll see, I doubt. I played a little bit of trombone in grade six and seven. I sucked at it though, so <laughs> uh, I don't think that's gonna give me any experience. All right. I do like music games. I suck at music games. I've played a lot of Rhythm Heaven. Really bad at it, but I love playing them. So we're gonna see how this um this works out. Can you play a real trombone on stream 100? Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to 100, but um I can see what I can do. I can promise that because it's in two years and you might forget by then. I have played DDDs. Drum Dash Deluxe. I have. I've downloaded that on the 3DS. Downloaded that on the 3DS. It's it's not great, in my opinion. Oh, no. Stupid bot. There we go. It's dead. I have played DDD's Drum Deluxe. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> I don't miss them already, Dirtball. <laughs> I played it... Well, I, I had Triple Deluxe. I didn't really like it on that, but I still wanted to get the full version. It was okay for a little while, but it was too short and kind of too repetitive. Welcome for that cough. <laughs> Alright. See what this game has to offer. I have, um... Okay. Guess I'll pick you. Did you ever 100% it? No, I did not. I don't 100% a lot of games. I generally like to get to the end. And I only 100% games that I really like. That's it. Oh, yes. It's Trump owner. This game has the funnies. Alright, so we don't have a lot of options. I don't even know how to play the game, so this, this should go well on the first. First try. Alright. There's, um... Not a lot to do here at the start, so all we can do is play. Okay, so it uses mouse control. I was 
setting this up with the intention of playing it off of my Steam Deck, and it said it was only playable, not fully verified, so I'm like, you know what, I made that mistake with Peggle, I'm gonna do it with the mouse, and I'm glad I did, because it's specifically telling me I need a mouse. <laughs> Alright, move the mouse forward and back to move the slide. Okay. Use the mouse button, or most, or most keyboard keys, to toot. Okay. This game's already looking good. <laughs> what do we need instructions for? Who needs instructions? There we go. Nobody needs instructions. We press forward. Where's my mouse? Oh, here it is. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> it's backwards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's backwards. Oh no. Okay. Getting the hang of it a little bit more. As I mess up terribly. <laughs> I don't like it. Why is it backwards? Why do I have to go up to move down? <laughs> of the lyrics. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of when the kindergarten teacher has to leave early and they just drop all the kids off in the music room because it's the only room available and they start running around just randomly grabbing things. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Oh, who doesn't love graphs? Okay. So this is where I'm in shock. It's down here when I'm not doing anything of what on earth is happening to me. Down here. And this is where I kind of start getting the hang of it. Kind of. Alright. Check the settings to see if you can fix the mouse. That is a good idea. Let's see if I can't go to the settings. Because you move, it's airplane control. You have to go move up to go down. Which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Alright, let's check the settings. Settings! Edit controls, here we go. Not inverted, up and down. There we go. Let's do this. Save and apply. It's good thinking, Derp. Well, there we go. Now I can play the way I was thinking it was going to be played. Inverted, yeah, exactly. Who wants inverted? What kind of maniac wants inverted? <laughs> that just makes things more difficult. Well, I messed that up.
minutes, I'm gonna concentrate. He's warming up his trombone. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I did better that time. Check out these graphs. Oh, yeah. That's why I don't like inverted. <laughs> That was a lot better. That was. <laughs> I was worried I was gonna get stuck on like the first three levels, just because like I couldn't figure out the inverted controls, <laughs> and I'd just be stuck here. Oh, I can play these other ones now. Why did I replay that one? I shouldn't replay that one. I'm assuming they go around in a circle. <laughs> Woo! Love graphs. Yeah. How do I sort them? Let's sort them by difficulty. So we can slowly move up the difficulties. What do we got? We got this thing. What is I don't even know. Is this a word? I don't even know what that is. Let's do this one. The first trombone was invented in... Wow, 2 million BC. Here we go. What is with the weird me type thing? The knockoff. Oh, yeah, it's this. The famous tune in all movies. I feel like there's too long of a pause here. <laughs> oh, yes. There we go. This is my type of game. Graphics, trombones, bad default settings. It has it all. Indeed it does. Definitely gotta download mod songs when you finish the normal song. There's mod songs, is there? Oh, that sounds interesting. <laughs> my curiosity. is taking hold. Yeah, graphs. Considering they don't know how much budget they had, considering it's probably not a big third-party game, I'm gonna imagine there's not many licensed songs. Ode to Joy. Sakura. God Save the King. Ball Game. Oh, Canada. Killbots. What is this? Okay. <laughs> just, this is what everybody needed, right? It brings you all the way back to when you had to go in assemblies and sit on the cold concrete floor and hear a bunch of non professionals butcher O Canada. <laughs> Take a shot every time you look at a graph. It's a lot of shots. Cause I'm looking at all the graphs. Hello, Manta Plant. Nice to see you. We're playing Trombone Champ. After fixing the controls, bringing me back to fifth grade when I was, well, sixth grade when I was playing the trombone. There we 
go. Let's do Ode to Joy. We'll make our way to O Canada. Although I'm very curious about these modded extra songs. Look, I can make them have whiplash. I like the sky in the background. <laughs> Okay, this one's definitely harder. <laughs> oh, it's getting brighter. Oh, my mouse doesn't go that high. Ah, oh. I need to clear off some more space on my desk. Ah, I'm off my. Oh no. No, there's not enough room up there. Oh no. Oh, there's not enough room. Move down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And it is making the Super Mario World ROM hat, which would be amazing for the Glenpire. This isn't, that was indeed the battle song. Oh, to joy. Well, there was at least it in Peggle. <laughs> That certain mode sounds intriguing. I'm looking at a graph, so Derpo has to take another shot because we're looking at this graph. Every time I finish one of these, I gotta brief myself up on what happens in the chat. <laughs> yeah, graph. Mantis sounding very ominous right now. Oh, would you look at that? It's another open domain song. Hey, Durbo, you haven't played this game? <laughs> you mentioned it. <laughs> there are more trombones on Earth than there are humans. That's concerning. Who are these people hoarding trombones? I think that, uh, that sound effect is a bit unnecessary there.
go. That was an enjoyable one. It's probably my favorite out of the ones that we've played so far. I love the unfitting air horns. Yeah, <laughs> you get the combo. It's kind of weird, especially when you're playing like an old classical type song. Nothing more Japanese than a trombone. Yeah. It's like, there isn't any more white than you. All facts coming from the chat today. We're going to look at this another graph. Look at this. This is another graph. It's amazing. It's got waves. Whew. Who doesn't like a good graph? What's your favorite graph so far? That was a pretty good one. A lot of waves in it. Got an S. That one apparently was a higher difficulty. Apparently, but I found that one easier than the last one. I don't know how I got an A in O to Joy. Especially when I actually went off of my table here. Go. God save the king. Why is there BPMs? Alright. Highest note playable on trombones is so high pitched that only certain species of. Okay. Of bats can hear. Ha! Ah, there's a delay on the stream, so I got to look up uh, on Twitch to read the end of that. Yes! I am one with the British. <laughs> I feel like trying to take over France. Like all my teeth are falling out of my head. London. With that tall clock thing that has a name, but I forgot. Yes, disgusting food. <laughs> Very true facts in this game. Yes, indeed. My name's not Big Ben, it's Glenn. <laughs> the background of that one was really funny, yeah. I like the disgusting food. Let's take a look at another graph! Oh my goodness, look how high this one goes. It cuts off! There we go. <laughs> Another pin for the group of them. <laughs> there you go, just keep pinning all the messages. You will have the largest amounts of pins in Twitch history. Big Glenn is one of the tabs. Sure. Let me just take a trip into OBS here. There we go. Look at that. Behind the scenes view. We go in here. There we go. It's added. Done. Big Glenn is now one of the. Yeah, if you're gonna have dinner, Manta, you have to bring enough back for everyone. It dems the rules. Indeed, he's very mean. 
no consideration. Alright, where were we? Oh, yes. Take me out to the ball game. Always played on the trombone. The world record for most trombones owned is held by Mike Brass. Good for him. This is usually played with a trumpet. <laughs> I don't know why this I'm playing this on a trombone. Why am I playing a trombone? Oh. oh, this is bad. That was so off. <laughs> Strikes your oh, There we go. It's the closest you're ever gonna hear me this thing. I got close on that one though. It's a good, um, good and famous song. Catchy. <laughs> yeah, I'm so close to Okanda. True, it is called Trombone Champ, but. Still, it seems like an odd choice for the trombone. All right, let's check out this graph. Boom! Yeah, you can see where the high notes got really high and made me go up and down a bunch of times right here. Had some trouble with that. Hence the A. Although I still feel like I probably deserved like a B on that one. I feel like it's a bit generous on some of these, but maybe that. That probably turns when I get to the higher rankings. Oh, Canada. Here we go. Let's do the Canada. It takes over 3,000 tons of brass to produce a single trombone. Wow. Some amazing facts coming here. Yes, Canada. I feel like eating a poutine and saying I'm sorry. Or something I don't need to. <laughs> it catches me off guard every single time. Oh, beaver. The beavers. I would have gone with a moose and not. I would have gone with a moose and two beavers, but man, sure. Oh, I got an S. Graph. Yeah. It's another graph. That's cool. Oh, these are the, um, the combinations that I got. I just noticed that's what the graphs are for. I haven't actually been paying attention. <laughs> I thought they didn't include any of the French lyric. There's, it's different. It's different in French. <laughs> I guess some words would take longer and some shorter. I don't know, I've never heard it in French. I 
many songs there are? I'm just gonna scroll through and get myself an idea. Oh, there's quite a, yeah, there's a decent amount. I noticed there was DLC for this game too. Like paid DLC on Steam. I thought about that for a second, but I figured I would play through this before I make any judgments on the DLC. I don't know how long this game would take, honestly. There we go, tabs. In real life, there are over nine songs that feature a trombone. Wow. That many, huh? Oh, it's the Remembrance Day song. So uh, it's the Remembrance Day thing. Seems weird they put an American flag though. Like I feel like it's used for like every country, or at least America, Canada, and Britain. I guess it, it was made in America and other countries adopted it, so I guess I guess that kind of makes sense. I don't know. It was a short one. And an easy one. I feel like that's the easiest one I've done so far. The song has English and French lyrics. Usually it gets played a verse in English, then French and back and forth between the two. At least that's it's like in my school. Huh. Yeah, when I went to school, it was just English. There wasn't any French lyrics. And the one I had to stand to listen for. Although, there wasn't a lot of standing at my school, if I'm going to be honest. Many of the teachers just let us sit and just didn't really care. Usually the younger ones. That's generally how it is. Just let us sit down. It wasn't, it wasn't any kind of protest thing or anything like that. It was just the fact that we were all lazy and it was 8, 10 in the morning and everyone was tired. Nobody wanted to stand. <laughs> it was interesting how your school does it differently. I guess it's a French school, so naturally you have more French lyrics and stuff like that. But it's still kind of interesting. There's multiple versions. I had to stand every single day at school at the start. I don't think I've ever gotten to sit during all Canada a single time. Yeah. Because your school is different. Um, at the start of high school, I went to a Christian school. And I had to stand every time. They played. You had to stand every single day. If you weren't standing, you had detention. You did stand for O Canada at my Christian school. They were very harsh about that at my Christian school. But when I was at a public school, um, at the start we always had to stand. But by the time I got to like grade 7 and 8, whenever our class had a younger teacher or a supply teacher, they just let us sit. It's kind of funny though. I never got how it was somehow disrespectful to wear a hat. Yeah. I don't really understand it either. I guess it's just a tradition. It's... I, I don't think anyone's trying to be disrespectful. I just think that they just want to keep their hat on and don't want to mess up their hair. <laughs> by taking it on and off. But what I understood was, what about schools? Like, if you think of anywhere else you go, like, if you go to, like, you go to a theater, and you go to sit in there for, like, two and a half hours, you don't take your hat off at the movie theater, right? Everywhere you go, when you go somewhere, you're always wearing a hat, and you never have to take it off. It doesn't matter if it's ten minutes or it's four hours, but at school, you have to take your hat off. Why? Who cares? I don't get out Canada, but I also don't get schools at all. The school has always annoyed me. And taking your hat off? It's like... It, 
You don't have to do that anywhere else. Just school. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't know why schools treat hats as if they can only be worn outside. And then, I don't know if it's like, you can tell me if this is like this at your school, Derpo. But at my school, about once every two months, they have a donation thing where you would give money to some foundation or whatever, and you could wear your hat the whole day. They treated wearing a hat all day as a promotional event. Like it was some big thing. Like, no. <laughs> Why did, like, it shouldn't be a promotional event. It should just be standard. And you can't tell me that teachers wouldn't like to do that either. Right? Why wouldn't you want to wear a hat all day? It means you don't have to fuss around with your hair as much. You could just throw on a hat if you're too lazy, right? Like... Okay, you were good for the whole week. I'll let you wear your hat. <laughs> oh, they didn't do that for free. You had to pay. At the start, I remember in like grade one when it uh, first happened, you had to pay a dollar, which was fine. Like basically every kid did that. But by the end when I was in grade eight, you had to pay five bucks when I was in grade eight for hat day. Five dollars to wear your hat for five hours inside. Like, that was just insane. I didn't pay that. I just didn't wear a hat for first period. And when I left for second period, I put my hat on. And nobody ever questioned it. Because you don't get, like, a little slip. You just pay up and you wear your hat. Like, nobody checks. So that's what I did. But, like, five bucks. Like, it's if it's going to some charity for cancer or something like that, it's a dollar. Like, that's fine. <laughs> Right? I guess. I just still don't get why you can't wear a hat every day. But it's understandable you want to donate a dollar. But five bucks? It's a little harsh. Considering, like, you could get a slice of pizza every Friday for, like, four dollars a slice. Like, why is wearing a hat indoors costing more than it is to get a slice of pizza? <laughs> Thank you for enduring my rant in the middle of my stream of Trombone Champion. If anybody new joined in that time, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Where were we? My mouse fell asleep. Okay. Martin Kilowatts. It takes 1,000 workers a full year to produce a single trombone. Wow. Whiplash. <laughs> what happened to my humor? Oh, Mars!
Nasty. <laughs> That's the only word I saw because it was at the end. That's dear, sure. <laughs> Let me get my hand stuck in the horn part of the trombone. Weird goal, but sure, why not? I believe in you. You can achieve it. Graph. Whoa. It's a great graph. All right. It's funny. A lot of these I don't even understand the name of, like this one, or the taps, uh, the God Save the King, or Sakura. I don't know what they are going into them, but after like the first 10 seconds, I immediately know what they are. I know what Silent Night is. I know that one. But a lot of these going into them, I don't actually know the names of them, but even though I've heard them a million times. Anyway, Silent Night it is. The trombone is related to the trumpet. They are cousins. Wow. Wonder if they have brothers. Oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> I can never tell if it's me butchering the song or just the fact it doesn't fit the trombone well. <laughs> It's a weird tune behind the trombone on Blank Silent Night. It feels more like 70s techno type. 70s disco. Weirdness happening behind me playing Silent Night. It's supposed to be like a calm, emotional song. This is a longer one. This is it. this is a longer one. There we go. Saxophone is your cousin. Congrats. I wish I had a cousin that cool. Oh, you look at the leaderboards. Wow. Oh, there I am. Woo! I'm 650th. Love how much they lean into this game being a joke. It is pretty cool. On top of that, it's also just nice the fact that it is a pretty great game. <laughs> it's actually pretty addicting and fun, I'm gonna be honest. It's just not what I always expect. When I'm trying to find a game that might be funny to stream or interesting, having it actually be a good game and be fun is like fifth on my list of priorities. <laughs> So it's actually nice to play something that is a coherent and fun game to play. Imagine what life would be like as a graph. It would be pretty sick. If only.
only we could have life as a graph. Pretty awesome. Alright, now we're gonna play Mars. In England, trombone is spelled... <laughs> Add a U. Trombone. Mars again. Oh no. Oh no no. That was bad. Gotta save this one. Get that 10x. We're gonna have an interesting dive on that graph. Whoops. Jeez, I need to keep my eyes on the thing. Not proud of this one. We're gonna have our first B on our hands here. Oh no. An A. Surprising. Cards? What is cards? Sure. Let's do three. I want to see what cards we can get. Do not eat. Okay. Cool. Oh, a blue eyes white baboon. One of the most powerful tromboner cards. The blue eyes white baboon is a representation of the tribal cliff as it relates. Oh my goodness. The Egyptian. Oh wow. Of the scared old. Jeez. They, um. Went all out on the terminology of that. This guy. This lady. Trumpet. Ooh. The coward's trombone. <laughs> That's good. Here we go. Let's get some more cards going. Bill Watrous? He only died in 2018. How about that? How young? Red eyes, black baboon. Wow. Okay. Arthur Prayor. Some more interesting ones. Alright. Good looking trumpet. Yeah. 
This guy looks bored. <laughs> Next. Music. Wow. Didn't know that exists. I will eat the cards. Not my cards. You buy your own cards and eat those. Look at this guy. What's going on with his eye? Is he trying to wink? It looks like he has an eye infection. And what's with the background? Looks like somebody broke in and took a picture behind a Mandarin buffet. Look like at him trying to look all unique and British with his cup of tea. I hate that guy. It's like hot dogs for your ears. Music description is great. It is. Look at that. A bunch of those. We'll see if there's anything else money can buy. I'm assuming this is the card collection. Let's see what else we have here before moving on. What is a baboon? Oh, what is this? Okay. This is interesting. Just, is that it? Oh, okay. There we go. Hark. Got an achievement for that, apparently. Worst thou the one who hath been a knocking on my little hatch? Not me. Arth, thine answers are false. Let's take a jump scare, yeah. Seeketh the trombone champ, but the true champ is stressful. Farewell. Okay, bye. Come back. Hark. Have you been through this? Yes, this is me. Ah, thou art truthful. That is goodeth. Is a knockin' not what hatches are good for? After all, goodeth. Goodeth is a word, right? They used goodeth. I'm pretty sure I used goodeth in a report back in grade 8. And the teacher marked that as being wrong. I'm pretty sure I did that. I thought goodeth wasn't a word. I would be using goodeth a lot more if I knew it was a word. I seeketh the trombone champ. Is it thine wish to become champ? Sure, why not? Oh, that is good news. Allow with me to introduce myself. Myself. I am the baboon toot seeker Tom. Wow. Allow me to show you something. Feast thine eyes upon toot vessel. What is this? What is it for? How does this affect my life personally? These are questions for which I have long since forgotten the answers. I bet. Why? Why? But this I do recall eth. The toot vessel requenish toots, feed it toots, and the cliff shall awaken. That's why it's called the toot vessel. You see? It is literally a vessel for toots. Anyway. Fill the vessel with toots so that the tree will cleef may awaken. I feel like this is... It's a lot like Wii Music in the way that it speaks, except the gameplay is good. I knew I needed coins or something. There we go. Toot Vessel Awakens. I knew I saved that. I knew I shouldn't have gotten all the cards immediately. Click that chest. 
It seems unnecessary. That's where I get a finger cramp. Oh, what will it be? Congrats, you play the video game a lot and unlocked a thing. Character polygon. Cool. Ah, so a chest of treasure poppeth out. Fascinating. However, I feel there's more hidden within the vessel. This is the game ever. It is the game ever. Yes, I am certain that the toot vessel can be further awakened. Fill the vessel with tools, toots, so that the tree will cleave may awaken. You've told me that before. Alright. So that was that. What is this? Oh. 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 Oh, we're playing. Okay. I don't know what this is. Should I have read what the button said? Oh, is it just a free mode? I can't imagine anybody actually making good music with this. Okay, that's enough of that mode. Advanced info! I don't care. Oh, wait a minute. Baboon facts. Only six species of baboon. Despite appearing in trombone chant, mandrills are not technically baboons. Baboons have been around for over two million years. Baboons are omnivores, which means they can eat anything. They could probably eat hot dogs, although we would not recommend trying to feed a baboon hot dogs. Baboons can live up to 30 years in the wild, up to 45 in captivity. Only that much. I thought they'd live to be like 60. I don't know why. I just got that feeling. There's a species of baboon called the kind of baboon, which is funny because it's definitely a baboon. <laughs> a group of baboons called a troop. Only a great game has baboon facts. Sense of humor. Cool. People that made it. Oh, jeez. Look at all the playtesters. It would be great if it was just a list of everybody who just who have played the game. Everyone's usernames that you could just flip through. An endless amount of usernames. Ah, now that we've seen the other things, so let's go back to the main game. Wonder how I unlock all those things. Oh yeah, I guess I have this thing now. Let's try this out. What is this? Trombone skies. Alright, let's do this one. I'm calm that Mozart's last words before dying were at least I got used to trombone. I don't feel like it. Oh, this is hard. I want my me back. I don't like this new character. I want my my rip off me back. <laughs> I 
<laughs> like the angel trombone. Why does this one have words? There's like faint words in the background, none of the other ones do. This one is definitely a lot more difficult. There we go. That one. Definitely getting to the higher difficulties. Oh, that was only a B. Graphs. Amazing graph. Beautiful. You can see. Not only are they moving up and down, but it these other dots down here, every time it moves downwards like that, where I have to move the cursor all the way up here, and then sharply down, it ends each one of my streaks. You can see, like, every single one that's at the bottom of the screen ended a streak. Because it's so hard to move from the top of the screen to the bottom in that amount of time. Change the scroll speed. Interesting. The games are left. Oh, yeah, still quite a few. Probably not gonna make all through all of them today. Although I can look at some mods, maybe. I wasn't planning on doing part two of this one, but if I can find some good mods, maybe I'll check it out again at some point. I no longer have Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Oh no. What happened? I need to know. Why do you no longer have Mountain Dew Baja Blast? Took one too many shots. Oh no. Well, there's more songs than shots. Shows you the amount of quantity they put into this game. Getting my character back. I'll just use this guy. There we go, let's play this one. A student's trombone generally costs between $100 and $300, but a professional trombone costs over $2 billion. Wow. Okay, I'm turning the scrolls. Jeez. Turning the scroll speed down. <laughs> this is a little insane. This is okay. No, where? How do I end? <laughs> 
I give up. Let me turn the scroll speed down. I need to. <laughs> I don't know how to leave, so we're stuck here. Oh jeez, it's getting faster! Considering I gave up part right through and I couldn't get out, it's gonna be bad. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> we gotta turn that scroll speed down. There we go. Let's replay that one. Tuesday scientists don't really know how a trombone makes a sound. Wow. I don't see much of a difference, to be honest. <laughs> Stay in the concentration. This is difficult. This got very difficult very quickly. <laughs> Somehow I did worse <laughs> than the first time. I'm not even sure that's possible, considering I gave up midway through last time. And we're gonna move on anyway. Sugar Plum Fairy is next. Ring a bell. All the classic songs. Let's see what the DLC pack also has. You can turn the music off if you want for some reason. I don't know who would want that. But sure. You can turn the music off. Why not?
professional trombone player is known as a tromboner. Really though? I don't think so. Okay, so this one's definitely hard, but it is not as hard as the last one. Oh, that's distracting. People running back and forth. There we go. Yeah, that was difficult, but like, I don't know about harder than the last one, like it was supposed to be. You wish you were a tromboner. Do you though? <laughs> yeah, graph. It's a lot better graph than the last one. Go. That track has been completed. Long tail limbo. It's the next one on the list. I like the facts are weird. <laughs> like they're obviously live, but it's interesting what they come up with every time. We haven't even seen a repeat yet. Of course, now they said that it's probably going to be a repeat next. It's amazing how many stupid facts they put in this. 34 countries have outlawed the use... Oh, okay, this is just getting faster. The use of trombones. They keep cutting it off faster and faster each time. Trippy background. It feels like when your TV stops working and all the colors go all fidgety. <laughs> There we go. That was a nice one. I did alright on that one. Yeah. That A. Graph. Wow. Yeah, they were all higher notes. It wasn't as much moving up and down craziness. That one two songs ago was really out of place. How difficult that one was. It's weird the real spikes and difficulties. That's quite the graph. Indeed it is. 
graphs are amazing. They're a work of art. There's nothing quite like a graph. We need a museum just for different types of graphs. You can have like a section, bar graph, line graph, pie graph. You could have so many different graphs, and just different wings and sections. It'd be amazing. It'd be like a math field trip for students. Alright. Trombones contain spit valves that allow- oh, Come on, they keep getting faster! It'll allow you to blow out your nasty spit. Which is actually the horses are really annoying. <laughs> They're funny. They're really distracting. That was bad. Oh, the horses. <laughs> I'm a sucker for that weird rotating image comedy. <laughs> that was a good one with the stupid ponies. I like that one. That was a good one. You know, the graph rhymes with trombone if you say it right. I could go for almost any word, honestly. Be. I'll take it. I will always take a B. Hello, pants. I'm stealing that from you, Derpo. Hello, uh, pants. Welcome back. We have done quite a few songs. And there was an ape jump scare that you missed. Besides that, not a ton. Have you seen the baboons yet? We have. We have seen, um... We did the thing where we spent the coins with that baboon, and then we read some baboon facts. Unless if there's another section of baboons. But we've done those two things that have involved baboons. It is awesome. Let's see what else we have here that we can... Yes. We have done... There we go. Do you skip to my blue? Son, I missed it. Phil Bear, have you unlocked Luigi in Mario 64? Ah. The questions in life we are faced with. Skip to my loo. Without trombones, there could never be SKA music. Oh, the, oh my goodness, this one's... Here's another spike in difficulty. Go. I appreciate it, you can just play all the songs, so I don't even actually have to get a good rating, you can just play the next song. <laughs> it's good for streaming. I can never stream Rhythm Heaven Fever, because it'd just be me playing the same minigame for an hour. <laughs> Oh, Mantiplan has unlocked Luigi. 
Wow. That's sick. Have amazing rhythms. Yes, I have my loops. And they're getting harder. But I'm not replying. Ah. Alright. Star Spangled Banner, you've done Britain and Canada. Now we're doing America. Oh yes, there is happy birthday on the list. Maybe after this we'll skim through and do the highlights. We can watch me, f I, we can play the hardest one. And watch me fail, miserably. Cause that's always fun. We're gonna do Star Spangled Banner. We've done Britain, we've done Canada, it's time to do America. The average baboon can live to be over 300 years old. <laughs> that contradicts the facts that we read. Yes. Conquest, guns, beer, and fast food. Fills my mind. This is a lot easier than the last one I did. <laughs> yes, blowing crap up. Freedom. Confetti that'll kill the turtles. Money. Burgers! What could be more American? <laughs> it feels so American right now. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty, dedication to the Proportion that all men are created equal. Okay. Thank you for that. Oh, he has a Pepsi. I like Coke better. But, you know, Pepsi's, Pepsi is still pretty great. So. As long as you have some type of cola. I have a Coke with me right now. I'm on my second can of the evening. I have a Pepsi over here, <laughs> Lincoln. <laughs> Go, let's do... I don't know that one, so we're gonna skip that. Let's do Jingle Bells. There are more baboons on Earth than humans. Wow. A Christmas onesie. <laughs> Look like a stupid elf.
getting in the Christmas spirit, middle of January. There's no better time. This is brilliant. Indeed it is. That's a big... Wow. That high. On this graph. It's beautiful. What else we got? We got happy birthday. There's no better time to celebrate Christmas. Especially not in December. <laughs> Derpo, what date is your birthday? I need to do some comparisons. I must know. Lord Glenn demands your birth date. Manta's guessing May 6th. Pants Arcs is correct, alright. Well, I'm the farthest away, I'm September. Derpo. It's May 6th. <laughs> Manta's having some heavy doubts <laughs> on that uh, assumption. Manta is in April. April 26th. So Manta is the closest. Okay, just doubts. Manta has the closest birthday currently of the people that are talking. So, this is for you, Manta. You get this happy birthday on the trombone. You're welcome. This is for you. Trombones are not related to the French horn, they are just friends. <laughs> Beautiful. There we go. Yay! One of the best early, early birthdays ever. There you go. Happy birthday to Manta Plant. You got that enjoyable song. Which I'm sure you will cherish forever. That's good. Oh, what's this? Baboons. Prepare for a 10 hour drive. <laughs> Here we go, we gotta do baboons. I'll drive drunk. 
It'll be easy. Yeah, it'll just be over in a flash. Just like your life when you jump drive. Alright. lot less baboons in it than I thought for a song that was like baboons. Well, there we go, there's some baboons. Recycled free domain zones. Me half Montreal, Quebec. You're still in French territory if you're in Montreal, though. Graph. Amazing. Let's see what else we got. Beethoven's Fifth. This is... We're getting into very difficult territory here. I feel like we have to do Beethoven. I feel like... To do a music game and to not do Beethoven... It'd be like getting pizza... And not getting cheese. I mean, right at the border of Quebec and Ontario, just so you don't have to spend much time near the French. You ever meet Ditto in real life? We'll meet in Ottawa. Sounds good. I don't want to be in the French. I don't want to be in your French people. Give me the heebie jeebies. Alright, Beethoven. Trombones now float in water. I said, drop your trombone in the water last week. There we go. Beethoven's turning in his grave right now. Oh jeez, oh, oh no. This is bad. I feel like it's because I'm skipping over songs. I'm just throwing myself at the deep end here. Yeah, that didn't go well. Yeah. It happens to be Ditto's car or something while driving across Quebec. You can usually speak a bit of French. <laughs> yes. Glenn does not speak French. Lovely tribute to a wonderful <laughs> musician. 
Indeed. Zombie Beethoven versus Derpa. Who wins? Be exciting. If we ever meet in Ottawa, we can test that out. Stars and stripes. Stars and stripes. Oh yeah, we're getting to the end. There we go, we'll do stars and stripes, the US military. That would sell, it would. <laughs> or you could just make that a video game. Derpo vs. Zombie Beethoven. That would fit in with a lot of the other dollar Steam games. Do stars and stripes, and then we'll do the hardest one of the bunch. Although there's still another star, which tells me in the DLC, there's a harder one. Maybe we'll check out the DLC some other day. Stars and Stripes. Alright. Cows love the sound of trombone, because they are smart. Cool. I feel like taking over some land. Only America would have a separate anthem for the military. <laughs> This is just bad. I am way out of my zone. I'm just gonna skip all that. Oh, how is that even possible? <laughs> This is way too difficult. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Yeah. This is just like Scout the Woosk. It's not the Waz, it's Derby Ditto. And straight out of the Glenpire. A B. That's generous. That is being very generous. Here we go. The hardest one of the bunch. And then once we do that, we'll get to the pizza tier maker list. To the heart of the Mexican hat dance. This will be fun. Watch me epically fail. Playing trombone in your apartment is a great way to make your friends. Make friends with your neighbors. Yeah, sure. Oh, we're just gonna throw it right in there.
Oh, it's so bad. Oh my goodness. It's so fast. I feel like wearing a sombrero down in some tequila. It's going so fast. Oh my goodness. Better than probably what I would have expected. Hello, Kovac for Smash. Hello to you. Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you with us. We are just finishing up Trombone Champ. <laughs> I'm executing right now. Glad to have you with us. B. I'll pat myself on the back for B. I skipped a lot of songs to pick the hardest one, and I feel like B is probably like the best I could have done. <laughs> I'm not going. Let's see what else we can unlock. Shall we? All right. Let's go with Baboon. See what else we can get here. B for best score. I like your style. It's definitely for the best score. Let's see what else we can get here. I obviously could have done a lot better on that one, but the fact that I just threw myself into that one without playing the ones beforehand. I'm okay with B. <laughs> ah, here we go. Finger cramp again. Yeah. This just seems unnecessary. Just, you know, around here we like to make fun of Manta Plant whenever <laughs> we get the chance. That is true. Just remember that um, you shouldn't make fun of Glenn or Derpo. Just channel all of your anger and just channel whenever you want to make fun of someone or make any funny remarks about anyone, just direct that to Manta Plant. He's cool with it. Uh, never mind the face. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Oh, I can unlock another thing too. <laughs> I'll be questioning why he sticks around. Nobody can resist being in the Glenpire. Let's pay for another one of these things. Once you become a member of the Glenpire, you never go away. Here we go. Oh boy. Someone help! My finger's about to fall off! Ah! Oh my goodness. Alright. Sound set 8 bit. Oh, that sounds cool. Click, dang it, click. Yeah. Maybe we should try out that 8 bit before we move on to the pizza ranking. There we go, 8 bit. 
Let's do this. I'm interested. Let's do one we've already... Let's do... What sound cool in 8-bit? Let's do ball game. Do that in 8-bit. I'm curious. Yes, man. Would you consider yourself a tromboner? Think about that while I play this. Despite its name, the trombone does not have any bones. It's an interesting fact for y'all. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it sounds terrible. It's <laughs> not what I was thinking it would do. Oh, that's awful. like an Atari 2600 that isn't getting enough power, <laughs> so it can just barely function. Yeah! <laughs> Stars and Stripes 8-bit edition. <laughs> hate how it doesn't sound the chip tune, and however it sounds like a trombone mixed the chip tune. The heck is the chip tune? My thoughts exactly, Manta. My thoughts exactly. Let's do one of the other ones. Let's try. You can tell I like the game because I said I was going to move on, but I'm not actually. Muted, I feel like that would just be like it not doing anything. kids in your internet terms. <laughs> Just call that a bit. Young Scabbard is your favorite. Alright, let's do the bass trombone. I haven't tried that one out, and we'll do that one. I refuse to believe neither of you have <laughs> heard the term. Right? They haven't. go. I haven't even played this one yet, so it works out. Let's do it. There are between two and four spiders living inside the average trombone. Yeah, because nobody plays the trombone. <laughs> oh, this is a difficult one. It sounds like a pretty good song. I'll probably listen to it on YouTube after the stream is done. You can never tell because it's stupid trombones. <laughs> and trombones don't sound good, so it basically butchers every single song. Like, I like Take Me Out to the Ball Game. I think that's a classic song I love listening to. But it gets butchered with this. Yeah, 
I like it. This is a pretty good song. I wish it didn't have to be the trombone playing it, but... <laughs> stuck to the desk. I messed up. This is a longer one. Go. Yeah, this is pretty catchy. That's a good one. Glad we played that one. I mean, I butchered it. <laughs> this is the first time I've played Trombone Champ before, so. Yeah. Thank you, TTV Hunter Z, for the follow. Appreciate that. Thank you for dropping in on the stream. We are at the nearing the last part of it, but I do thank you for that. Um, I am doing very well today. I had to deal with OBS for about 45 minutes because for some reason it decided not to work very much, but after I got that working, my day has gone pretty well, honestly. How is your day going, Hunter Z? Every <laughs> day on OBS, yes it is, Magic Plant. I do, I do welcome Hunter Z. Uh, just so you know, don't make fun of other people except for Manta Plant. You can make fun of Manta Plant if you want. Everybody else is off limits. Besides that, you're free to say anything you wish. Tuesdays will be Tuesdays. Fair enough, honestly. Fair enough. <laughs> I know. The best stream. This is probably the best outcome of the stream that I've had of consistent viewers. But it's interesting because the best stream that I ever got the viewers so far was... Number one was Wii Music and then Peggle. <laughs> the Undertale that I did, Stanley Parable barely pulled in anything. And for some reason, it's, it's just this these type of games that just seem to bring people in. You can pin that as one of the quotes, Derpo. <laughs> By the way, guys, Magic Plan is our punching bag here in the Glenfire. Make sure to pin that. <laughs> there you go, will you? That's good. I have the big trombone, everybody searched trombone on Twitch, and this was the first stream that popped up. Wow. Surprising. Algorithm is not too kind to only have a good one. I actually just found out about um, the trombone chant not too long ago. Just about a week ago, and I decided to download it and check it out on stream, so... It is a really fun game, let's see why you look it up.
Alright, so that was a bit too difficult. <laughs> these songs I do not recognize, but once I start playing, <laughs> immediately know this is kind of the part of free domain music. go. Telling <laughs> you, weird slash fringe games are perfect fit for you. That's kind of why I started the channel, honestly, was just to play weird games that might attract people like that. I don't know. 1v1. <laughs> Try playing 1v1. Oh, I'll knock off Fortnite. <laughs> All I'm saying, if the Wii Music stream also did good, you can need to start playing music games. Yeah, that's probably what it means. I don't know how, but back when I used to stream that game for fun, I averaged 10 to 20 viewers with like 50 followers. Yeah, it's weird, honestly. I want to see you play Chop Suey on the trombone. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> this person has played the trombone for five years. Oh, wow. I can tell you that the guy on the right must be on something. <laughs> They're playing by moving his head up and down. Yeah. Some special skills. Say that because it would require you to click especially faster than usual. I don't seem to see it. My practice is 38 hours a day. Yeah, probably. Let's see, used to play the charm on a fourth grade. I always used to bop my head around like a maniac. <laughs> yeah. I played trombone for two years in music class, and I quickly found out that the three people who also played trombone next to me were much better than I did. And because we always played in a group, I would move the slide back and forth, but I never found out the actual right way for my lips to be inside of the spit valve. So I never actually blew into it, and I just moved the thing back and forth, and my music teacher never found out. <laughs> I just moved it around. I looked to the person playing the trombone next to me, and I just moved it along with them to blend in, and I never actually blew into the trombone, because <laughs> I had no idea how to play, and didn't really want to learn. <laughs> but I feel like I'm finally um, getting the hang of it on this game. We'll call this the same. He starts like that, then they stop for a few years and start sweating like maniacs once they're for professionals. Look it up, it's hilarious. Some pros move or play. I'm kind of curious now, I'm gonna be honest. I'll probably do that off stream. 
All right. We are past the two hour mark now. I've played this game longer than what I was actually expecting to play. <laughs> because it is time. You know what goes well with playing trombone? Ranking pizza places. <laughs> because some people that I know have wrong opinions. And <laughs> I need to make sure that everybody knows my opinions. All right. What is BP? BP is only actually in Canada where I happen to live. It's called Boston Pizza. For some reason, the chain called Boston Pizza decided that they weren't <laughs> that they weren't going to be in America for some reason. I generally end a lot of my streams with tier lists, or at least I have once before, not too long ago. To be a mindless American. Yeah, I don't have all the American ones on here. There's many American pizza places that I have not tried. I go to America decently frequently, I would say. Um, but I haven't actually tried a lot of the pizza places. But let's do this. We have eat every day of the week. There are three places that fit into this category that I'm going to go through. I could go here. Right now, these are places that don't reach that top tier, but they're still pretty great. Sure, we can eat there. That's kind of the middle. Of the yeah, they're they're good, but not a place that'd be my first choice. Don't really want to go there. Is below average pizza, and only at knife point is places that I never want to go. <laughs> That's a lot of respect for America. True. The Papa John's adults. I just know. Yeah, I just noticed that. It wants to influence my opinion, apparently. All right. Well, I love my list, so we're gonna give that a heart. Or not? That's not gonna work, apparently. Okay. Boston Pizza. Boston Pizza is average. I like their pasta. They have really great pasta. The um, penne with. Rose sauce with rosé sauce baked with cheese is really great. But their actual pizza is just okay, especially for the insanely high price that they ask. For everybody else's opinions, I'm a lot more lenient. I feel like pizza is a lot more generally what style you like. A lot of people are going to... There's going to be a lot of hate probably for me for saying this. Domino's is at the very bottom, in my opinion. I don't like Domino's. I think it's pizza is just below average. I've had some very bad experiences at Domino's. And their garlic bread sucks. <laughs> I hate it. There's only like a little like little rectangle in the middle that tastes good. <laughs> um Hey, look at that. Hunter Z agrees with me. Not many actually do, but I'm glad about that. Durbo, you're wrong. Um, are you basing this on the pizza alone or every aspect? I'm basing this off of pizza and anything that could come before pizza also. So we are also taking the aspect like um, garlic bread with cheese or wings or maybe a possible dessert. But for a main course on pizza, that's right. I'm going on Hunter Z's side on this one. Durbo, you're definitely wronger. Fresh Slice Pizza, I've only been a couple times. Um, and it it was pretty good. I'm going to put it here. <laughs> I think it's not top tier, but I do think that it was pretty... I've, I've been there like four or five times, I'd say. And it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I should also say, there is a huge difference between American pizza and Canadian pizza. Like, Pizza Hut is so much different in America than it is in Canada. So, keep that in mind. <laughs> There's a lot more grease and stuff like that in America stuff. Never seen a fresh pizza here. Huh, that's weird. 
Durfo is the wrong star. <laughs> Durfo has been swayed. Yeah, there we go. I wish we had a Timmy's in Houston. Tim Hortons is pretty good. Tim Hortons is pretty good. It's not my favorite place, but it's pretty good. Look, maybe I'll do another fast food place for breakfast places <laughs> next time. Um, all right. Little Caesars. I love Little Caesars. Pizza is good. Pizza is probably in the second tier, but it's the crazy bread that bumps it up to that top tier. The crazy bread is amazing. Here's a pro tip for anybody who goes to Little Caesars. All right. When you go there, always ask for extra Parmesan cheese on your crazy bread because it makes them it makes them not use the hot and ready. You have to wait like five minutes, but you'll get a hot, fresh slice of pizza with the hot and fresh crazy bread. It makes it taste amazing. <laughs> Well, at least Jerfo's 50% right so far. <laughs> Marco's Pizza, again, only been there a few times. Marco's is, is it's very mid, <laughs> in my opinion. It tastes good, not amazing. It's mid. <laughs> We're putting it in the mid tier. It's, when I think of pizza, it's one of the first random, it's like one of the first generic pizzas that I think of. Hunter Z agrees with me again. There we go. How about that? All right. Papa John's. I don't like Papa John's. <laughs> I've been there a few times, and every time I go, it just it doesn't taste good. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad luck. I've only been to one certain Papa John's location, but I've gone there like six or seven times because my grandparents love Papa John's for some reason, and I'm forced to eat there every once in a while. Hate it. <laughs> Hunter Z agrees. Hunter has got a lot of great opinions for pizza. <laughs> pizza delights. This is a very conflicting one. Where does bargain peppers fit into this <laughs> list? I've I have no idea what you're talking about, honestly. <laughs> Pizza Delight is a very conflicting one because I think its pizza is slightly below average. But their breadsticks with cheese, I love. It's the only reason why I'd eat there. So it's very conflicting which one I put it in. But because this is a pizza list, pizza is the main component and everything else is just a bonus. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to put it there, but it's going to be the top of that. The Dervo hates that. I do agree with you a bit on the pizza. I don't think it's horrendous, but I think it's I think it's below average in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Derbo has been spared from the Papa John's, so <laughs> Bargain Peppers is Pizza Joy Manta Rabbit open. Sounds like it. Pizza Pizza. Pizza Pizza is, you can put it in the middle. Pizza Pizza is the most generic pizza place you could ever think of. Every time I go there, it doesn't matter if the pizza's fresh or if it's cold, it's just okay. Every single time. It is never amazing. It's never bad. It's just very, very mid. <laughs> It's a lot like Marco's, but I think Marco's gets a bit of an advantage. It's a bit better. Can I hear that? Tried it once. Jono? Yeah. That's my pants. Pizza Hut? Pizza Hut is... Oh my goodness. I used a see-through image. <laughs> I didn't know I did that. Okay, so you can only see the, the top part, apparently. Um... Pizza Hut is my favorite pizza place. It is my all-time favorite. There's no debating it. There's no debating. 
is my favorite pizza place. It's my favorite pizza. They have great breadsticks with cheese. And their pizza is great. I love the deep dish pizza. It's really great. <laughs> Hunter Z agrees with me again. You have a lot of right opinions. <laughs> Make each other's minds or something. Yeah, it's weird. Even had Pizza Hut in years. I think Derpo needs to go to prison for a little while to get the sense knocked back into him. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Pizza Hut's amazing. Pizza Nova is... I, I don't really like Pizza Nova. It's not one of the worst, but... <laughs> I think I'm just easier long thoughts, negative, relative. Yeah, it seems like it. Um, Pizza Nova, I don't really, I don't know, I've, I've only gone there a few times, I guess if they made, it always just kind of seems cold, and I don't really like the sauce overly much, so, not a huge fan. So give me a break, I don't choose what pizza gets bought, I guess that's true. I guess that's technically true. Yeah, DNA test time. We gotta, we gotta make sure. All right, Square Boys. There's no way the Hunter Z knows what Square Boys Pizza is because it is a pretty small chain in Ontario. Um, but I, I think I'm probably biased on this one. If I'm gonna be honest, I really love its pizza. I don't even know Nova. Oh, okay. I didn't even know. Square Boys Pizza is pizza I really love, but I feel like I'm probably biased because when I was young, my uh, father would take me down to this like beach-like area um, in a small town, and we would just eat a slice of pizza, and it was, yeah. <laughs> I'm biased because I ate it a lot when I was young, and I have good memories around the pizza, so it probably influences my opinion a little bit. I'm not biased on all of them. All the other ones, I have the correct opinions, and if you don't agree, well, then you're wrong. See? Don't have a wrong opinion. <laughs> it's written right into the list. There we go. And that concludes the list. We're having a based off. You can enjoy the ducks. <laughs> this is my favorite game to run in the background at the end of streams, honestly. It's called Flaccid Duck Simulator. It's about two dollars on Steam. I highly recommend as a game to just to play in the background. <laughs> hey Glenn, you sh should the new people get to hear a pretend Glenn Moore story? <laughs> yeah, go red. There are many great stories surrounding Glenn Moore. Patented. Oh, I suck at reading. <laughs> I hit resume. I feel like it's just dropping my old ducks down. For some reason. <laughs> anyway. I don't know where they go, honestly. This is the point of the stream where we banish Manta into the depths of Twitch to find someone to raid. And while he's gone, we all definitely don't say things behind his back. 
I'm just kidding on that, actually. We don't say anything. <laughs> Um, sure, we can look that guy up. I want to see how many viewers he has. Usually when we raid people, we like to raid people with a generally smaller. I <laughs> think he smelled. <laughs> 13 viewers, that's perfect. We like to generally raid people with like between like 8 and 40. Just because he like that and because what we do in the Glen Pyre, something fun is we do a very fun event called the threat of the week which is basically what we do is we have a list of different lines that we all copy and then we go and we raid and then once we've raided we all say that message and use Usually they get a kick out of it. Just gotta find that list in my Discord. Here we go. All the threats run, yes. We are from the Glen Fire. We will steal your your clothes dryer. That's a good one. Yes. Alright. Everybody who wants to participate, uh, copy that one. Participate in that. There we go. Copy that. Copy text. Morphy. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, besides that, I think that is going. Everybody's got that copied who wish to participate. The day we run out of rhymes will be a scary day. Yes. Everybody who wants to participate has copied that message. That's good, and thank you all for joining me. We stream, I stream at 7 o'clock Eastern Time every Tuesday, and thanks for joining. See you in the next one.